All right, we got it ready from Cheese. So let's get started with game number one in three, two, one. Tetris. Damn, I had to leave for a bit. Who won between Miles and Andy? Uh, Andy won an eight decider. Oh yeah, you're right. Doja won, actually. He actually won the entire tournament, so congrats to Doge. Cheap with the Spire. And it misses that Espen, or maybe you didn't go for it. I don't know, at this point. But he's going to be clean and uh, just needs one more burn and he'll be open. Oh my god, Doge. With those S bursts. Got the, all of them all the way to the left side. So, has a very nice board here. 77,000 points for Doge, 59,000 for Cheese. Oh man, the PP on Cheese's side is a little bit uneven. Let me fix that. <clears throat> so, there we go. Okay, bye. Yeah, it is a bit big. It's mainly because of the 2. 2 is a little bit wider with this font. <laughs> hey Stan, what's up? I see your 69 bits are still in the, <laughs> are still at the beginning of the, at the top of the page. But anyway, Doge 178 at 47 lines, Cheese 152. So now the player, uh, well actually Cheese not with the greatest of starts. Doge has a pretty respectable, respectable efficiency right now. Oh, amazing, look at that. Stan doubling up on the 69 bits. It's, I have no idea where the... where exactly the money from CTL goes. <laughs> Maybe get stolen to Maturino? I have no idea. But yeah, Doge with a bit of burning had to deal with, but he's gonna be clean. Yep, Cheese basically skipped everything. Like he skipped the 1.6, 1.7, 1.8, 1.9, 2,000,000, in his PB. His PB is a million higher than most people on this channel. Yeah, that's true. Two million for some of them. For some of us. So. I just, I really do think that the next, uh, this is what we're going to be seeing a lot for these upcoming world records. No longer are the days of getting a world record by a Tetris or like 50,000 points. Like I'm pretty sure now we're going to be seeing a lot of like skips, 100,000 K skips. Who knows, maybe the next world record is going to be like a 2.7 or something. How far we've gotten. We have... <laughs> we've created monsters. Otherwise known as rollers. <laughs> yeah, his PB jumps are Fractal's PB jumps are also pretty insane, but he doesn't play in TFC anymore. Well, he does, but like, 
I'm sure he does, but like he doesn't. He's kind of focused on Kyle right now. Uh, Shoutouts to Pal, <laughs> four million world record. Dude, you know what? You know what? What I want to see happen? Just somebody beating the Tengen world record, but like on Pal or NTSC. Okay, pump. <laughs> anyway, cheese transitions at 504. Doge can set up two more Tetris before transition. Yeah, like actually, Tetris is pretty easy. You just gotta stop topping out. Like, it's not that hard. Anyway, Doge with a bit of a messy board in transition, almost double flipped that long bar, but was able to fix that up right in the nick of time. However, he still has a dirty board, so a lot of burn he has to deal with. As Cheese now 7, 637 at level 21, Doge 514 at level 20. Oh, I'm glad you liked the, the playlist. A little outdated, but you know. Still gets the job done at least. Anyway, Doge once again, a few misdrops he's been he's been dealing with. And now a bit of a oh my god, Doge with those tuck setups. It's gonna be clean. Well not clean, but he's gonna be safer. You get what I meant. I have a couple of unfortunate pieces here for Doge. It's a Lombard Dependency and a dirty Tetris for Doge at level 22. Jeez. Looks like he overshifted that Z piece. But he's still gonna be clean enough. Would love to get a nice L J piece, but didn't get it in time for the tuck. Now sets up a T spin. Nice split double there from Cheese. 770 versus Doge's 621 at level 23. So. Yeah, it's gonna be very interesting to see how this plays out if they reach both reach kill screen. Even though both players are rollers, Chi still has the advantage with a level 63 or level 60 something PV. Doge has a P has a has a level PV of level 39, so still very very respectable, but Doge Tetris Ready can actually still get the max out. Off, like, surprisingly enough, he's been going near perfect ever since he reached like level 23 or 22. Like, he was nowhere near max out pace, but he's been killing it in these last few levels for Doge. Cheese 892 at level 27. Doge 841 at level 26. So this is actually relatively close. Cheese no longer has the advantage. Doge is Tetris ready and a Tetris for Doge. Cheese transitions at 999. Gets a max out in the kill screen. Doge can set up three more Tetris before transition at kill screen and Cheese still going. Doge gets the max out with that next Tetris. Cheese almost at level 31 with a 1.02. Doge takes the lead with that Tetris. So this is now a kill screen battle, but Doge miss doesn't flip that L piece. Can cause some complications, but gets the Lombard all the way to the right side. Now needs him to the left side, gets the Lombard all the way to the left. And Cheese 1.04, Doge 1.06. Both players still going. Doge at level 30. And Cheese still clean. Setting up for the dirty for the central Tetris and a central Tetris for Cheese at level 32. Doge is still going now at level 31. 1.07 for Doge, but Cheese takes the lead. Doge might have to set up for a Tetris here, but Cheese now in a bit of trouble. Has a couple of holes in his stack. But he's digging out of this. Oh, but undershifts that J piece. Doge gets a triple. Just needs one more burn. He'll take the game. And with that 1.1, Doge will take game number one.
both players reaching level 33. And this was just game one. <laughs> Doge, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we've got it ready from Doge. Let's get started with game two and three, two, one Tetris. Yeah, whoever loses will actually have to release merch. I mean, Doge has his like TikTok fans. I'm sure they can buy. We'll go buy some stuff. Dude, I want to get myself a heart rate monitor for uh, Tetris streams or whatever. Alright, Doge starting off with a bit of a messy board. It looks like that last game is kind of hitting him pretty hard. Lombard dependent now. Oh my god, these burns from Doge, but he's still not out of it yet. Needs a Lombar. Got the Lombar one piece too late. Just gets a nice flat Lombar burn. Quick thinking there from Doge. Had he flipped that, that would have been it. <laughs> so what a dig there from Doge. Avoiding the early top out. But in the meantime, Cheese has taken a 100,000 point lead. Doge once again with that miss drop. Kind of a double flip there with the LPs. So really, for those of you who aren't very much aware of how rolling works, works uh, that's kind of one of the biggest disadvantages of rolling, or really the only disadvantage. Um, with these weird grips, you end up double flipping or missing tucks or anything of the sort a lot more frequently than you would with any other playstyle. But of course, that comes with uh, a bit of practice to deal with. So, the more you practice, them, the less you do all of that. However, it still becomes an issue, especially in high-pressure situations. Listen, I'm, I'm surprised that nobody yet has asked, like, just completely una unaware of rolling, like, Dude, why is it? Why is everyone just like tickling the bottom of their controllers all the time? Like, usually see that a lot, but not today. So, guess everyone is up to date now. Three oh seven for Cheese, two thirteen for Doge. That's you. Oh, Maddie. Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> <laughs> Why are Dath players cold under controllers like that? <laughs> Alright, Doge once again in a bit of a situation. Lombard a pennant. Oh my god, Doge needs something to the right. Nothing's gonna show up. He's gonna top it off 242, so cheese will tie up the set. Ready from both players, so let's not waste any time here and get started with game three in three, two, one Tetris. Right. <laughs> Whatever you say. Little tickle never hurt nobody. Did not expect to hear Hisoka's theme in the stream. Yeah, well, there you go. 
That's the magic of streaming. A lot of, lot of uh, surprises. Yeah, I will admit, I was a uh, disbeliever of the glove. I used to make fun of um, some of the people I talked to for using gloves. I won't mention any names, but... Yeah, I've been proven wrong. The gloves are the strat. Don't forget Johnny here. He was... He was a Glover, one of the OG Glovers. So Yanni, if you're out there, <laughs> there, there you, that, that was your legacy. You've completed your legacy. All of us are Glovers now. But anyway, Doge once again with a bit of a burning situation, hasn't gotten a single Tetris yet. It's gonna be a triple. Isn't Glover an N64 game? Uh, possibly, perhaps, maybe. Someone, someone get on that. <laughs> Stat team, get on that. <laughs> Research team. Is Glover an N64 game? Plot twist rollers have modern controllers so the buttons are on the bottom. Alright, thank you, E flat. <laughs> With the Spanish guitar and the rolling technique, it's like the controllers are the guitars. Yes, T cheese and doge are actually just battling to see who who does the best guitar solo this is actually what it's all about <laughs> okay, okay. Clubber is a 1998 platforming video game developed by interactive studios and published by Hasbro do I have to talk like a like a like one of those bots just with like completely monotone. Just put it in text to speech. If I had it, I would. If I had it enabled, I would do it, but. The game features a magical four fingered glove. What? A glove named Glover in his quest to restore the Crystal Clean Kingdom by retrieving, retrieving crystals that were lost. The Nintendo 64 and PC versions received generally positive reviews while the PlayStation version received negative? Oh god, Doge! <laughs> He's very high up there. <laughs> but gets a llama for a Tetris. Yes, next gauntlet team, the Flamenco Maxers. <laughs> Yeah, you did make it just in time for these rollers to face off. You're also in time for the upcoming match after this, which is going to be Cheese versus Huff. Dude, how long is this track, though? Oh my god, it's still going. Alright, let's get something else. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> with the flamenco guitar. We'll give it a, like a 30 minute break and then we can go back to the flamenco guitar.
Anyway, Doge transitions at 361, gets a Tetris. Cheese transitions at 505. Did I say Cheese twice? I think I said Doge, right? Hopefully I said Doge. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. Anyway, Doge is gonna be burning right now. 437, Cheese 558. Nice little flat J burn there from Doge. Yep, and then afterwards it'll be last match will be Huff versus Andy. So top four versus runner up for 2021. Andy was also the runner up for uh, 2020. So I guess battle of the runner ups, I guess. But anyway, we're not talking about that right now. We're talking about Doge and Cheese. Cheese 643 is Tetris ready. Doge still digging. So his pace has taken a, taken a very, very harsh toll here. Nice dirty Tetris there from Doge now. 539. But Cheese still ahead by over 100,000 points. And he also has a cleaner board. Doge with some very clutch digs, but he has to like try to misdrop as little as possible to have a chance against Cheese at the moment, who's almost who's already 200,000 points ahead. So that lead is just growing, and Doge is still digging. Doge at level 26, 569. So he's gonna have to do outdo cheese. He's gonna have to outdo cheese in roll and uh kill screen play. Oh, but Doge with that double flip. Couldn't use that lombar for a Tetris, but gets in a lombar in time. So only costed him one burn. Tetris for cheese. One more Tetris. We'll give him the max out. We'll actually need a couple more burns for the max out after the Tetris, but regardless, looks like he will max out into 27. I mean, 28. Doge, Tetris ready. 674 behind by 300,000 points. Looks like a bit of an overshift there with the Lombar. Early shift, I mean. Looks like he's going to try to set for this last Tetris, but not getting the right pieces. He's going to have to burn into kill screen. He needs a Lombar. Alright, Tetris ready. Tetris for Doge. 386. But Cheese already almost with 1.1. So Doge might have to go aggressive or just hope to like... Get his lines PB. It is doable. Column 8 Tetris there from Cheese. Getting in the 1.1. But Doge is still alive. Tetris for Doge. 80, 839,000. Cheese with a 1.17. Doge taking a flat burns. Already at level 31. Needs a Lombar here. Going for the dirty Tetris. But they didn't get the square all the way to the left. He would have been dirty Tetris there. And we'll top out with an 843. So still great effort there from Doge, but Cheese will have the advantage now into game four. It's so fun trying to complete it alongside the match. I used to do that a lot. But now I just kind of go for PVs. If Doge chased that down, I would have cried. I mean, I wouldn't put it past them. But we got a ready from Cheese and a ready from Doge. So let's get started with game four in three, two, one, Tetris. I must pick up where I left off last time I watched the TL with the New Mexico lore. <laughs> the carpal tunnel. I don't think you have to worry about that when you roll. 
Um, definitely with tapping though. If you have like a really crappy grip. A lot of people say if if your uh, grip hurts, then you, you're doing it wrong. But you know, sometimes sometimes you just have to do the wrong grips because it's the only one that works. Commentator, what do you think about body pillows? I recommend body pillows. Not the not the anime ones. Just just regular body pillows. <laughs> For regular use. <laughs> uh yeah, shout outs to body pillows. The stream isn't sponsored by body pillows, actually. <laughs> Dude, I was I was in a server just talking about how much I love body pillows and people were freaking out. They thought I was talking about the anime ones. And I was like, you know, I could have I could have clarified. But at the same time, why do that? Why not just have some fun with it? What's wrong with the anime ones? <laughs> uh, nothing. Nothing. You can buy whatever you want. What are my thoughts on vegetables? Dude, I love vegetables. Like, let me tell you. Potatoes. The most versatile vegetable can do anything with them. Yes, if if C if CTL gets enough followers, we'll, we'll make we'll make body pillows of the commentators. <laughs> so, if you're into that for some reason, follow follow this Twitch channel. Let's get to 900 followers by the end of the stream. Reminder that grain is more of a grain than a veggie. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'll, I'll talk to Moo about it. Like, dude, think of all the money. What is it, like the sponsor quest rewards or something? Anyway, both players at 300,000, cheese 337, doge 311. There should be a distraction challenge where people have to play a match while chat says the dumbest stuff possible and the comm commentators have to say it. Well, it could work, but... Fortunately, both of these players mute um, the streams. Uh, they don't listen to the commentators, so none of the stupid crap we say will actually like. Uh, they'll actually listen to. Dude, I would totally get a Tetramino body. Body? No, pillow. Just a regular pillow. God damn it! We've been talking about pillow, uh, body pillow for so long now. It's just stuck in my mind now. Anyway, Doge 428, Cheese 432. That's actually a good, that's actually good merch. Someone get like Vince, Robin, whoever's in charge of the CGWC merch <laughs> and get a Lombard body pillow but anyway speaking of lombar cheese needs a lombar right now gets a lombar but it's gonna have to burn in the transition 
has a very messy stack as Doge now has the advantage 497 out of 125 lines. Can set up two more Tetris before transition. Did I say body by accident? I meant Lombard. Speaking of Lombards, Cheese needed a Lombard. Here. Anyway, Doge transitions at 505. Cheese transitions at 455. Already level 20. Level 20, so Doge has the advantage in efficiency. And the Tetris for Doge, 556. Yeah, Doge is still clean. So 609 now for Doge as Cheese is still digging out of this. Finally clean. Can start setting up Tetrises. And a Tetris for Doge has a Spire in the center, but it's building up his left and right side, so he's gonna even out his stack. A lot of players are under 18. No, no, no. We're not talking about player, player body pulls. We, no, no, no. Just, I know. Just, just Lombard body pulls. <laughs> we don't, we don't take those. We don't take the player body pulls. Anyway, Doge 718, Cheese 625. And Doge needs a Lombard right now, getting a bit drouted. Gets that Lombard all the way to the left side, but needs another Lombard. Doesn't get it in time, so he has to close down as well. Needs some to the left, gets that Z piece all the way to the left and flat. L placement is Tetris ready and a Tetris for Doge 761. That was very close there, but some clutch rolling there from Doge. He's still not really out of it yet. He has a high board and didn't get the long bar in time. Had to close down his stack, but he's now open and Tetris ready. Tetris for Doge 799 versus Cheese's 704. Cheese also closed down his right well. There's a cockroach on the wall. What? Why? Anyway, Cheese, 741 at level 26, takes a Tetris. Doge has a 100,000 point lead. So yeah, Doge looking for the 1.1 before kill screen. Eight hundred seventy-six thousand for cheese at level twenty-eight. Doge with this next Tetris, he will max this out at level twenty-eight. Tetris for Doge has the max out. Cheese eight hundred seventy-six thousand takes a Tetris now nine eleven, and looks like he will Tetris in the kill screen. Will not get the max out before uh, twenty-nine. So Tetris ready is Cheese and a Tetris for Cheese nine sixty-three. Doge and 1.03, looking for this last Tetris. Taking the last double and the Tetris into kill screen. 1.07, I mean 1.07 for Doge. Max out for Cheese. And he's still going. Tetris for Doge, 1.1 now. Doge is still Tetris ready. Tetris for Doge, 1.15. As Cheese still has only a max out here. 100,000 points behind of Doge. But Doge, a bit of trouble here. Needs a Lombard to the left side. Gets a Lombard up to the left. Now still Lombard dependent. And gets a Lombard for that triple. Would love a flat J burn. Gets a Lombard. It's going to work. Nice. That's a burn steer from Doge. He's cleaning out of this. Gets him to the left side. Solves that Lombard dependency. And Cheese is burning. But he's getting a bit high up there. And Cheese. Is going to top out with a 1.04. So Doge with that 1.2 will take... Game four, and we've got ourselves a back-to-back -back decider. Oh, hover three from Cheese. Let's get started with game number five, the decider in three, two, one, Tetris. Let me reset that music. There we go. Dude, memes. Gotta love them. Let's 
So once again, two sets today, today so far, two deciders. First one was Andy versus Miles, where Andy took the decider. So let's see who's gonna take this one. <laughs> Doge. Why did Doge type in chat during a match? Uh, he put a lot of practice into it. 40% uh, of it went into rolling. 60% of it went into typing while playing. That reference, Bull Deer. So it's a bit of buffering. It's not me this time. I know it's not me. Because Cheese's stream has been perfect. <laughs> I, I wonder if Cheese is trying to type something. If he's just mid sentence right now. How much you, I, I feel like he's typing something. He has to be. Anyway, Doja, 167, 37 lines, Chiefs, 174. Dude, Doja actually the better, better typer. Anyway, he's at 236 while Chiefs at 265. <laughs> It's literally like, like a split second. You see his hand come off the controller and then suddenly type. You see a message. Like, Fucking typers, man! Dude, jeez, what are you typing? Is he like typing an entire essay at this point? <laughs> I hope he does this before transition would be not great. Unless he can do it. Maybe he can do it. Maybe he can type in the transition. I'm <laughs> waiting for Jesus' book to drop like... Exactly. Anyway, Doge at 353, Cheese at 357. Part of me is just hoping it's just like a one letter message like K. Like that's all he, that's all he types, is K. That would be perfect. Anything more than that, I'll be severely disappointed. <laughs> Jesus, a very important uh, essay due in five minutes. Yep. Anyway, Tetris for cheese 408. At this point, every time I see that face, I just think about Moodus. Like that weird uh, happy face or whatever it is. A mod modicon. So yeah, Cheese potential for a 600k transition. Doge as well. Uh, Doge slightly with a better pace here. About less than a Tetris. on track for a six letter transition. Ooh, cheese with a bit of a miss flip there. Takes a 60 triple and then Tetris. So it's gonna be okay. Just needs a long bar. It's gonna cost him some burns and that 600k is gonna be dead before transition. But Doge still efficient enough for it. Nice Jace piece solve there from cheese. Can set up three more Tetris before transition. 
15 million point match. What is happening here? This is high level touches, everybody. Anyway, Doge can set up two more touches. And gets one of them. 6 12 now. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> anyway, Doge at 640, 665 now at level 20, Cheese 616. And Doge, bit of a miss drop there. It's gonna cost some burns. Not getting the right pieces. Nice little burn there. It's Lombard dependent now. Doge gets that Lombard all the way to the left side. Doge waiting still. Oh no, he's going to top it at 671. So, kind of like what happened with uh, Miles versus Andy. Unfortunate early top out in the transitions. The Chiefs will take the decider. So up next, yeah, very well done from Doge, making uh, forcing a decider. 